Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Esteemed Gentleman Podcast for Monday, February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm Yay. your host, Scott Lavery. <laughs> and join alongside me, we have Uncle T-Bag, Tyler Sunt. That's me. I Hello. said Tyler Scott for some reason. Tyler Scott. Ooh, Tyler, Tyler Scott. Scott. There's our new character Taylor, name. Taylor yeah. Scott. <laughs> yeah, new NPC name, yeah. And all day Eric DeShane. What up? What up indeed. So, it is Valentine's Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it is. Now, normally we'd probably do something special for this episode, but uh, seeing as two we're, of us are signal... There are two single uh, dudes and one guy in a relationship. Yeah, this is going to work out well. <laughs> Tyler, did you uh, have any fa- uh, plans that you wanted to talk about or anything? Well, I didn't realize that it was Valentine's Day. Oh. So. <laughs> so, no. <laughs> I that's, did not. And that's why Curly was mad. <laughs> and that's why she was upset. <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. How are you feeling, by the way? I feel great. Okay, that's good. Yeah, back to 110%. There mm-hmm. you go. Yeah, that's good not to true. go, man. No, it's not true. I'm never 100%. <laughs> no one is. <laughs> I don't think I ever will be. <laughs> Tyler, we're never 100%. Anymore. I'm like 78%. That's <laughs> the size. Yeah. That's my threshold. I'm like an old cell phone battery. I get to 100%, but I'm dead right away. It doesn't matter how much charge I have. I'm dead right away. Yeah, you recharge your batteries enough times, it doesn't fully charge. No, it's just fucked yeah. anymore. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's right. You damaged yeah. your. Uh... Mm-hmm. I've worn my warranty. Yeah. My exactly. core. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. As we're recording, well, the Super Bowl just ended. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, uh, who this, won now? Uh, L.A. won. If you if you if you uh, cared, they beat the uh, Bengals by three points. Okay, sure. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah. There you go. I didn't watch it. Um, All right. But this topic's kind of related to sports because mm-hmm. we're doing a draft. Yeah. So on stuff we know. <laughs> yeah, on stuff we know exactly. Uh, yep. So I've gotten this idea. Like I've seen a couple different podcasts do this in the past. Where uh, specifically, like a lot of like I listen to a lot of basketball podcasts. So they'll be like, "All right, let's draft a team using Disney characters." And like one round, it's oh. Disney originals. Next round, it's Star Wars characters. Next round, it's Marvel characters. And they go through that. That's fucking good. Dude. That's oh. a good one. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's fun. Fun. yeah. yeah. Like, well, that's you know, I'm a big basketball fan. It'd be maybe unfair to do that exact same mm-hmm. one. Plus, we're just ripping somebody off. Uh, mm-hmm. So instead, we are doing something that we should all have an equal playing field on, and that's video games. Mm-hmm. And uh, in this scenario, essentially, uh, Sony, Microsoft, Nintendo—they've gone out of business. They went bankrupt, mm-hmm. and now it's up to us three. All, all their IPs are up for grabs. Yep. Yeah, and we are uh, orders, yeah. we are making our own boxes, our mm-hmm. own consoles. And we're going to be picking and choosing which uh, franchises are going to be exclusive in launch titles for us. So we have, so we have the Scott Box. I'm mine yep. is called mm-hmm. the Super Scott Tendo. Oh, nice! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I had the Rick Station. Nice. The Rick Station. <laughs> the Rick Station. Yeah. <laughs> See, I, I was taught it was a toss-up between Shuttle Box and and the the T Box. I think I like T Box. T Box was pretty good. I thought yeah. I thought about T Box for you too because. Yeah, T bags, T box, T box. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, so T box it is. T box it is. Yeah. <laughs> T box. Uh, and so we have uh, six genres, six categories that we're going to be drafting through, and uh, we each have equal uh, picks. So essentially, we're all both. Uh, each of us are going to have two first picks, two second picks, and two uh, third picks mm-hmm. through this. And it's all been randomly chosen by a, a wheel on the internet. So. Uh, order is random. So our our first uh, well, I'll just give an example here. Just so before we get going, um, I said if if we were to use the sports genre, and I had the first pick, I could pick NBA Two K, and that means NBA Two K is coming to the Scott Tendo nowhere else. Mm-hmm. Tyler can pick FIFA. Eric can pick Madden, and then that's it, right? Yeah. There you go. I think it. Okay. I think that makes sense. Yeah, hopefully. it makes sense. I think way. so. I, I would pick an HL, but yeah, it's, that's the yeah. idea, right? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And then uh, mm-hmm. at the end, we'll get the uh, viewers to maybe vote vote on who which box mm-hmm. you would buy. Mm-hmm. Who has the 
the better lineup. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they're all going to be the same price, all coming out the same mm-hmm. day. Just the games that matter. So mm-hmm. that's right. Uh, so let's get this started. Our first category is shooter, and Eric, you have the first pick. So my thought was, do I pick something that I like, or do I pick something because I want to make the most amount of profit? Mm. Like you would for any, any draft pick. You pick the one that's going to do your franchise the best, right? So, right. so I'm, I have to say, even though I hate the franchise for what it is, I got to go with Call of Duty. Call like, you right now, bitch. It, it's stagnant <laughs> right now. I don't like it, but you got to go with it because it makes the most money. It's, yeah. People buy it every year. It's like, like FIFA or other kind of bullshit game they put out every year just to kind of make it that much better, but Hey yeah. man, it's it's mm-hmm. yeah, it's it's what you pick to make money. So yeah, definitely like Call of Duty. It's, yeah. it's it's still the king. It's it's the, it's the Nick Crosby of games. Like it's it's the Nick Crosby or like the McDavid. Like if you don't pick it, you're a fool not to pick it, right? So yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Call of Duty. All right, can't argue. Yep. Tyler, yeah. you are up next. Well, then I have to get the next best thing is Battlefield. Battlefield. The Battlefield franchise. That's the thing too. I'll toss it between the two. Like I prefer Battlefield more, but. If you look at this, the points wise and how it is when it comes to profits, like you got to go yeah. a cod, man. Yeah. It was either that or Fortnite. I know Fortnite's free, but the microtransactions mm, might. That's, yeah. And there's that's... a lot of celebrity mm-hmm. involvement with that. So it's like, ooh. But then you look mm-hmm. at the numbers and it's like Battlefield's a little bit. I that's, don't know. That's, but that's, it's also I... personal preference, preference mm-hmm. too, though. So mm-hmm. that's kind of biased that way. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, Battle. I would have to go with Battlefield, I think, mm-hmm. the Battlefield franchise. Definitely. I think that's, that's a fair, a fair call. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I kind of predicted those would go one and two. Mm-hmm. Um. So my third one, I had a lot to choose from. Like I said, mm-hmm. Fortnite, but I'm like, eh, do I really want Fortnite? Well, I think I think why Fortnite was so simple is because it wasn't tied down to one platform. Yes. So that that, that to me, if you pick it, I think that would be like picking like a, a bad round pick. Mm-hmm. I, a good, all, good, a good early season, but a bad run because yeah, I got it now, but now it's only on one platform, so it has less people and it wouldn't be as big anymore. Exactly. But yeah, yeah. So I have to think of yeah. a, a shooter that's gonna make people want to buy the Scott Tendo, mm-hmm. and I'm going with Battlefront, Star Ooh. Wars Battlefront. Yeah. All the Star Wars fans, they're gonna have to get come get the Scott Tendo. That I, I I don't know I I would allow it I guess because it is still a different IP it is different totally different, different license but it's very similar to Battlefield but it is different still but I don't know <laughs> uh, I say iffy Tyler would I don't know about that one what would you call on that one Yeah you allow yeah. it Yeah I think so Yeah Yeah I think so mm-hmm. I think so Even though EA kind of mm-hmm. I mean it's made by the same people it's not the same game though Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Battlefield 1 and 2042. Yeah, that's true. You get all those. I get Battlefront 1 and 2. Battlefront 1 and 2. I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess, guess, yeah. I mean, but I'd be like saying, hold on, I'd be like saying that Call of Duty. Then I want Call of Duty Black Ops. Then. Exactly. Yeah. That's, it's, this is different. Not the Infinity War stuff. Not the Activision one. Yeah, you get, you get the whole, you get. You you drafting the whole franchises here, Call of Duty. Uh, I guess, you yeah. I guess you get the name. I guess that's right. Exactly. Yeah, you don't get the yeah same studio, same people, but it's still a different IP. Because so, before yeah. Battlefront wasn't you know originally made by EA, just this mm-hmm. newest iteration of Battlefront was made by. Yeah, EA. Pandemic was the man's ones you made sure. it back in the day and was distributed by EA. Mm-hmm. Rest in peace, Pandemic. Okay, okay. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, uh, so to recap, Eric's got Call of Duty. Mm-hmm. Tyler's got Battlefield, and I got Battlefront. Star well, Wars. Uh, I will say, runner for me as well was uh, Doom. Mm-hmm. It was a Doom franchise. Like that's a tough one too, but that one, that one's still okay. Or um, I had another one too as well. Can't think. It was Halo as well, and mm-hmm. like a few Halo of the popular ones. One. But Halo, Destiny. Yeah. I, Destiny, yeah, yeah, like, Destiny's yeah. A big one. But those like Halo was the only one. Like now, I think it's multi platform with the PC, even with the MSG collection before. But that was an Xbox mm-hmm. only. Still sold really well, but yeah, still. I think Battlefield is a battle, Battlefront and COD were the point, the two big ones for sure. For sure, yeah, yeah. All right, we move on to the next genre, which is fighting games, and Tyler has the first pick. Mortal Kombat. Ooh, Ooh quick! Mortal Just like Kombat. That. So everybody plays it, man. Everybody, everybody plays it. Everybody Mortal- knows it. Everybody Everything plays with the Mortal Kombat name, so the whole Nether Realm pretty much, right? So Mortal Kombat versus DC, that still counts. 
I don't know. Um, I was going to pick Injustice. And Injust- gonna pick. Injustice 2, yeah. There's another one, that, right? So, that's a different IP, right? So, but it's it the same, same I feel thing. like Mortal Kombat is more popular. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I agree. Yeah. So I'd go with Mortal Kombat. Yeah. Plus, I would enjoy that more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, it was either that or um, uh, Scott's going to pick it for sure. Oh, but, I know uh, it. Yeah. yeah I, I I, so. If he picks it, I'll be pissed off. Yeah. I know what it is, too. I'm, I'm My uh, second pick, you know, fighting games, they're, they're pretty hard, you know? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tough, tough to get into for a casual yeah. fan. Mm-hmm. So yeah. I'm gonna lean into the casual fan, and I'm going oh. Super Smash Brothers. That's yeah. the one that I was thinking. It was either I was, that I, or... I thought I was thinking. Okay. I was thinking something different. And, well, I'm, I'm sure it falls to you, Eric. I'm, yeah, I'm guessing you're gonna pick it. As good as Smash Bros. is, it's a casual audience, and it does have a good, like, uh, oh hell, what the hell is the tournament called? The fighting tournament, uh, not te- um, Evo. Yep, Evo is the big final tournament every year for fighting games, and Smash Bros. is huge, mainly especially. But I think still the biggest one to this day is still Marvel vs. Capcom. Oh, That's what one of the one of the biggest fighting game genres and biggest lines you can get there right now. Yeah, it's it's old as what it is, but it's still like one of the high end like competitive. Uh, and having that one specifically with your console, I think that would be a big seller as well because it's oh, yeah. a big market to go to. Yeah, Street yeah. Fighter left on the table. That's yeah, that crazy. too, though. but even that one too, it's stagnated because Capcom fucking wrecked that franchise. So like, like even but the even last Marvel was, yeah. Capcom versus Capcom wasn't good either. <laughs> no, but they still play two, two. I don't know if Capcom two was still for being what fifteen years old is still playing yeah. as impetuously as hell still right now. They still play yeah. Street Fighter two though as well. Mm-hmm. But, but that, that, yeah. on the Evo, it's there was only a few years where I was at um, MC um, Marvel vs. Capcom. It was missed at Evo. I think maybe two years. That was it. Most most of the time, it's on that stage to play for big. True. So, yeah. Yeah. It's not my a bad, image not froze. A bad pick. My... You, you, you did freeze. <laughs> did I freeze? I have yeah. that weird face going on, don't I? <laughs> yeah, you do. <laughs> like her eating a lemon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Weird. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably disconnect right away. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. What did you have against Scott in years? I forgot. Uh, Super Smash uh, Bros. Smash Bros. Smash Bros. Super yeah, it's time you want to leave the call. Just come back in, maybe. Mm-hmm. Might, uh... Yeah, I think. Yeah, Smash Bros. Is I'm on now. The there you yeah, go. good now. Yeah. That's better. Oh, yeah. For the casual market, I mean, like that's what sold the Switch, right? Like that's the casual end, and it's tough. Yeah, tough not to pick that one for sure. But I was thinking more like, oh, it'd be cool just to have. I lo- and I love those games too, Marvel vs. Capcom games, mm-hmm. and yeah, I, I, I would I would want that for myself too as well. Yeah, it'd be one of those like personal trophies. Yeah. Yes. All right. Yeah. Up next. Last again. God damn it. <laughs> RPGs. And I have the first pick. Slaughtery's fixed. Called bullshit. <laughs> uh, hey, I did totally random, but I'm happy I got the first pick on RPG. Yeah. There's a lot of good RPGs to choose from. Yeah. But uh, I think you have to go with the biggest. It's been put on every single system imaginable. I'm gold, mm-hmm. going with uh, the Elder Scrolls. Yeah. 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 The Skyrim has been Bethesda's ca- uh, cash cow for... 12 years now and has no signs of stopping. <laughs> <laughs> new console, Skyrim. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't, and even, have, I don't even need uh, to yeah. make a new Elder Scrolls. Nope, it's just, it's still the buggy mess on the, on the <laughs> what do you call it, the Scott box again? Sorry. Uh, uh, the Super Scott Tendo. Super Scott Tendo, Super yes. Scott Tendo. Yeah, Skyrim. And it's all, and all 20 frames of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. I don't know. I don't, I'm not a big fan of RPGs, so I. Right? I don't know. Wasn't what? like one of your favorite games? Uh, yeah, RPG? one of your favorite games of all time. Is RPG, each other. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it was like the only RPG that I like. I mean, yeah. There's also Witcher. Everything else. Is that, I guess that is considered one. Okay. Yeah. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I want to go with Fallout, but I don't know if that's that game is done or not. Are they done making Fallouts? Like, no. 76, 76 is still yeah, chugging along. It's not as big there's as it wanted it to be. There's plenty but... of other U.S. cities to go to, and then you yeah. can go out to Canada and other places. That's true. And <laughs> modders and stuff, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. I'm going to go with Fallout. I'm going to go with Fallout. That's a good call. I'll take Fallout. Yeah. That's another big one. Probably, yep. probably second biggest, I would say. Yeah. Well, it was, gonna be, it was either that or it was, was going to be um, uh, Zelda, probably. Mm. I was going to pick Zelda. That's a big one. But then it's like, I don't know how popular that was. Yeah. I don't... I wouldn't classify Zelda as RPG. It is only now with Breath of the Wild. Before, I would yeah. never put it as an RPG. I mean, it oh. has elements, but you don't build your character yeah. up from level 1 to level 30. Link has always been 
this link and that's it right so oh, okay okay yeah, like, now that the falls wild, into action adventure, action yeah which we do have gotcha. going up which we i would say that more too like breath of the wild i never did play it but i don't think you still level up even you get better equipment but you don't level up per se right so right scott um uh, yeah not really you don't really like level up yeah you just... don't level up yeah stats or anything not really mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um yeah and i and guess for mine yeah uh, um only one I can think of that I would that I know I would like to see, and I think it was exclusive at one point, but it's been changed multiple times, is the uh, Bioware line Mass Effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's I know it's because I really want that because Andromeda sucked. I will admit that, but it wasn't their A team, and like and they were too focused on um, Anthem, which was a ugh. Uh, so if you get the original Bioware crew back again, like they're making a new line even of that one. A new one's coming out here in a couple of years. Mm -hmm. I'm hoping that so. I'm, and that's one I know I'd love to see more of, and have it exclusive on the Rick Station would be sweet. So there you yeah. go, Mass Effect. That's a good one. This is mm -hmm. a good one. Really good one. One of my favorites. Mm -hmm. I, well, I, I say probably like that more than Elder Scrolls, but uh, mm -hmm. but that was the nar narrative story, right? Yeah, Elder Scrolls was like this is mostly freedom, right? And same with some, mm -hmm. with Fallout too. You can do whatever the hell you want, right? So in Mass Effect, you're taken along on this adventure. You can pick and choose what you want, but. Yeah, I would. I would still say uh, the game of choice would still be uh, either Fallout or all those girls would go into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. Well, uh, then we move on to the next category, which is platformers. Mm -hmm. Eric, and you uh, have the first yeah. pick. Uh, again, I have to go with the the cash cow. I have to go with the, the your A pick, your first number one choice, and I'm gonna have Mario. Uh, you'd be uh, stupid not Super to pick Mario. Mario. Super Mario Bros. You have to. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's yeah. And I do enjoy the games. They are fun. I didn't like the Galaxy games too much on the Wii, but the original, or the Super Mario Adventure ones, I prefer mm -hmm. the original is A to B side scrolling ones more of the time. But uh, yeah, it's, it's, he's one of the most recognizable characters ever. So to not have him on your console would be a huge mess. And I laugh whenever I think about the old uh, Philip CDI stories, and you hear from that, like how much they fucked up the Golden Goose they had when they had those Nintendo licenses with those characters, and just how bad they fucked it up. It's just mm -hmm. uh, only yeah. only corporate America in the nineties could screw up something so good as uh, having Mario on your own console that's not <laughs> Nintendo. Like, oh my god, you idiots! <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Mario. There you go. All right. Uh, I think I'm next. Yeah, I'm next. You are. I got yeah. the platformer. Mm -hmm. Kind of figured Mario would be gone. So I'm kind of going a little out of uh, left field on this next one. Okay. Is I'm it going to be... Uh, <laughs> um, uh, what's his name? Uh, the old Commodore character, but... Uh, I oh, no, no, no. <laughs> too many video essays to know who he that is. He uh, is somewhat old. Uh, he's got his roots back on the PlayStation 1. Oh... Not that guy, but oh. I'm bringing back Spyro in the Skylanders, baby. Oh, Skylanders. <laughs> but here's the thing. Always I'm, I'm, to life. I'm revolutionizing Skylanders. No, <laughs> okay. more, no more toys. Cards now. And it's a card game you can play away from the game. And then you can like do the NFC with the cards and bring them into the game. And you got two two things going on here. You got you got a Yu-Gi-Oh style game. And you got an actual platformer game over here. Are those actually like have a shelf life though. Like I don't know all those little gimmick games. I I never they I, will I, because I, here's the thing with Skylanders would be like they would just come out with a new game every year and that yeah. you have to keep buying. Mine is gonna be a game as a service kind of like MTG Arena where it's just like we're putting out a new set of cards. And it, the real cards are still good, and they just oh. get they get put into the into the same game. There, just mm -hmm. the patch gets pushed through. We add mm -hmm. levels later, and that sort of thing. Because yeah, that was that was the big reason why the Sky the Spiral and them failed mm -hmm. because they were at least new a new play set with new models that wouldn't work yeah. with your old ones every year. They're selling toys, right, instead of games. But so, yeah, we're we're we're, that, se we're, we're selling uh the the eighty dollar bundle, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But then we're really making the money on the card packs. Because mm -hmm. I think I think Disney Infinity 2 did the same thing as well. <laughs> they made the V2, whatever it was, and with the new Marvel. And like, oh, it's cool, but you mm -hmm. couldn't use the old. Like, oh, that's dumb then. But yeah, that could work. You definitely um, uh, 
not Photoshop, um, workshop that that idea quite a bit there, Scott. Not bad, yes. not bad. Yeah. Bobby mm-hmm. Kodak, I'm a, I'm available. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Ew, that, that's lime. Bobby Kodak's not available anymore. I think <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Phil Spencer. I'm available. <laughs> All right, Tyler. You are the last pick in platformers. Not too much going on with this guy, but uh, I want to bring him back. I want Mega Man back. Oh, oh dude, good call. Mega Man, nice. baby. Mega yeah. Man. Oh. And I want toys, I want action <laughs> figures. <laughs> Good fucking call. The like, Capcom got that ball in. for so long. Mega Man was my first ever games. Mega Fuck, Man needs to call. happen. Yeah, yeah, needs to happen. Good for sure. Call. Nice yeah, one. I was addicted to that game, man. Mm-hmm. On Nintendo. I thought you were gonna. They need to Sonic, bring it back. But uh... and Sonic no, was the one. It was that's like no, because I was Crash Bandicoot, Mega Man, Crash Bandicoot, Mega yeah. Man. Because I liked Crash Bandicoot, but I'm like, ah, eh, not a lot of people care much for it because it was kind of a tougher game, but. Well, now it's all nostalgia for Or Donkey now, right? Kong, yeah. Donkey Kong. <laughs> that one, too, is the one that was really big, like the old Super Nintendo and then the N64 one. Was I rare. loved Donkey Kong Country. But, uh, and... Yeah, that one, too. But yeah, no, was Mega Man, one. someone Mega deserves Man, sure. some love. Darn right. That's like one Mega of those Super Nintendo picks that come out of nowhere. Or Duke Nukem, even, would have been yeah, good. Yeah, but... that one I would want to see back, but the problem is Take Two owns it and this whole fucking like, cabo- yeah. debacle with it. It's like, oh, God, like this. Yeah, that's a tough one to bring back, but uh, yeah. Mega Man, good call. Good Mega pick, Man, very pick. good pick. Thank you. I didn't even think of him, really, when I was yeah, no, picking totally. him. Off, so. He jumped right out, man. I'm like, oh, nobody's picking Mega Man? But then no, I guess man. Mario is... is well, so Mario, man, my, like how long I saw my name first, I'm like, Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, Mega Man's been gone forever. So long. And now you have, you have Mega Man Zero, you have all these other Mega Man spinoff games, and not the original Mega Man that made it good. Mm-hmm. Remember when Mario Number Nine came onto the field a few years ago? That was a big like, oh my god, Mega Man's back, but he's different, but he's back, and that game fucking sucked. Mm-hmm. And oh, yeah. that was heartbreaking to see. Yeah, but no, man, Mega Man, good call. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's move on to the racing category. Uh, I was I'm torn between two really, and Forza. that is uh Forza Horizon, mm-hmm. which is like. Fun one, it's a really fun game, and it's a graphics powerhouse. Mm-hmm. But then there's also Mario Kart, which is just oh yeah, really really fun. That's the, that's the casual one, yeah, for sure. And uh, and the better selling one too, mm-hmm. I think it is. And uh, it's gonna it's weird how I have Super Smash Bros. And uh, I am going to officially pick Mario Kart, mm-hmm. but uh, Eric has Mario. Which is kind of weird. But, oh, uh, it, no, and that's a lot of stuff. I know, I know it is. Like, it's a different kind of game. It'd be weird to see like a PlayStation and then a Sony and a, a Nintendo version. Yeah, exactly. It'd be weird to see it now, but yeah, it's an yeah, IP, yeah. man. Yeah. Yep, I'm going with uh, Mario mm-hmm. Kart. Mm-hmm. And uh, there you go. Up next, Eric. Mm-hmm. So I, I was thinking too, but I think I'm going to pull like Tyler and pick a game that I think deserves some more love that no one really think to pick, and right now it's kind of gone to the wayside. And it's a franchise called Need for Speed. Mm-hmm. They were huge back in the day, and like Need for Speed Underground 2 and Most Wanted were like my favorite games of all time. And still have it on the GameCube on the Wii I play every now and then. And that's one of the series where EA kind of shut it under the rug and haven't done nothing with it since. And now with like if if you just made like a Need for Speed with the, your uh, Forza Horizon kind of engine or even that look to it, I think mm-hmm. it'd be one of the things to pull back in and kind of have that console as well. So I know it'd probably be one of the things to kind of make sell and make it work again, but I mm-hmm. definitely want to bring that, that title of Need for Speed back and ha- enjoy that for quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. Need for Speed. Yeah. Well, I don't care much for racing games, so I'll just pick the other one. I'll pick Forza. Mm-hmm. It'll be Forza. It'll be Forza. Because yeah. I know I think, that. Yeah. it's pretty popular. <laughs> What's the one for PlayStation? For- oh, Gran Torino. Gran Turismo. Gran Turismo. 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 Sorry, Torino's a car. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Gran Turismo, which I did they make a new one lately at all? Uh, they have yeah. one coming out soon. Okay, there. Well, for the five, I guess. Yeah, new visual games. masterpieces, but that's about it. Pretty yeah. much, pretty that's much. Cool. Yeah, because I think it was more that was the more simulation compared to Forza, but mm-hmm. yeah, Forza was a little more you fun know, racing, but yeah. You know, what was a really good racing game that I really enjoyed was mm-hmm. Burnout Revenge. Oh fuck, good one! I fucking loved Burnout yeah. Revenge because yeah. there was some um 
missions that you had to actually like blow up as much stuff in one run mm -hmm. as you could, like like uh, slam your car into something and cause as much damage as possible. Yeah, and how you hit it, how you crashed, like was able to it all, control your car and how it flipped. Physics oh, was a big oh. thing. Like it was crazy. Yeah. Like you hit the side and the doors dented in. Like it's all mm -hmm. yeah, that was a lot of fun. That'd be cool yeah. to bring that back, but mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. I love that Forza. game. Yeah, Burnout, Burnout 3, Burnout Revenge. Yeah, that was one of like, those gems on the PS3 and Xbox 360. Like, oh, good, good, good <laughs> game. Good fun game. Yeah. 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 All right. We are at our last category. Action, Action Adventure. Adventure. And Tyler mm -hmm. is the first pick. This is a tough one because there's so mm -hmm. many. There that, is, that is probably like It is a broad category. category. Super broad. Yeah. Super insane amount of great games and franchises out there. But I think if I'm going to go for the money, it's going to be Grand Theft Auto. Yep. I'm going Grand Theft Auto. It was on my list. I'm going to have to because, damn, they're still making money. <laughs> oh, but that's the thing. They went to a subscription service, and that's just been making hand over fist. X5 came out 2000, 2013, so it was almost 10 years Insanity. old now. And they're and still it's, making it's a gone through fuckload of money. Two consoles, yeah, already. Three Stupid. consoles, nearly three consoles. Yeah, well, three consoles, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. It's on. I'm pretty sure. It's out. Yeah, three sixty because it's and, and yeah, PS five. Yeah, so uh, PS three, sure. PS four, PS five. It's been on three consoles. Yeah. My God, yeah. Yeah. That that's that and yeah, you're right. It's, it is the golden goose that has not stopped giving <laughs> giving eggs. It's I know because I was it was either that or it was going to be like Resident Evil. Mm -hmm. I really, I because I personally like Resident Evil, but it's like if I'm gonna make mm -hmm. money, it's got to be Grand Theft Auto. Mm -hmm. There's just too many people that play it, still play it, will play it, especially like the new one that's coming out. Whenever that is, that's gonna be another twenty years billion years. dollar. Yeah. <laughs> fucking yeah, mm -hmm. right. That's what I'm. That's what I'm going with. Mm -hmm. Good call. Yeah. So yeah. I'm next, Eric and I've been next. stuck on t these two. So. One I love to death because of how it plays and who the characters are, but one is probably the more uh, narrative one, which I never played though. But again, they got to look from it from a, uh, a point of view of selling consoles and making the money, right? So I'm gonna have to go with The Last of Us. Oh wow! Yeah, because it's it's one of those like heavy narrative ones that would sell and go, let you play your. I mean, we're it, it worked well for Sony so far. I haven't been exclusive like that, and it's. It, it draws people into how that story can be told, right? So, so as much as I never played it, I would like to play it maybe one day, but I just never have gone around to it. And, great game. Uh, a great I haven't game. played the uh, second yeah. one yet, but, yeah, but it is uh, a great I've game. heard mix on that one, but still, like the first one left such a mark on people that it's, yeah, it's one of those like, yeah, you gotta try it and play. But my other choice was the one's probably Scott's gonna pick, but so I'll save it till then. But uh, yeah, The it, Last of Us. I feel yeah. like I know which one Scott will pick, maybe. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm able to get this with the third oh. last pick. What's that? Um, uh, on my on my board, uh, in order were Legend of Zelda, uh -huh. which I figured was gonna go number one. Yeah. God of War was my second pick. That's uh -huh. the one I was thinking you were gonna pick. And then uh, third was Grand Theft Auto because I thought yeah. like maybe people might not think about Grand Theft Auto, but Tyler did. So Tyler did really uh, so. But and yeah, but yeah, I guess uh, if, if my first my first on my board is still available, I gotta take it. I'm going with yeah. the Legend of Zelda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people will buy a, a Nintendo new Nintendo console just just for just that for one that. Game. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, yeah, and mm -hmm. I'm one of them. <laughs> so, right. So yeah, there you go. That is uh that's my yeah. picks. So we want to go uh, go through through them all because I kind of forget what everybody picked. <laughs> uh, well, I remember what I picked. <laughs> Hopefully. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't write down what I picked. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I could go first. Shooter, yep. I had. Fuck. What did I say? Oh, Battlefront. Battlefront. I had Battlefront. Yeah. Uh, fighting game, I had Super Smash Bros. RPG, The Elder Scrolls, um, Platformer. I had. Yeah, uh, I Spyro it. and Skylanders, mm -hmm. Racing, um, Super Mario Kart, and Action Legend of Zelda. I'm mm -hmm. going to get a notepad out so I can write this down for the graph mm -hmm. later. Should I go? Uh, go for it, Eric. Okay, so for shooting, I picked Call of Duty, and it's multiple, multiple franchises. Mm -hmm. With that. Call of Duty. Yeah, lots of dookie. Duty. Uh, <laughs> fighting, uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, Capcom franchise. RPG was the Mass Effect. 
Mm -hmm. Line. Platformer was the Mario series games. Da Mario. Da Mario. Da Mario. Da Mario. Racing, da. Need for Speed. And lastly, for action, for action adventure, The Last of Us. Last of Us. Entirely. For moi, for a shooter, I picked Battlefield. Mm -hmm. For fighting, I picked Mortal Kombat. Mm -hmm. RPG, I picked Fallout. Then for the platformer, I picked uh, Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Racing was Forza. And for action was GTA. Um, GTA. I have such a variety of systems on my looking it over now i'm like so my two big money makers right now for me would probably definitely be mario and call of duty <laughs> so i have a fun family action uh, platformer and like a vicious <laughs> mature rated shooter on my platform <laughs> yeah i don't think i have any family oriented games on mine you at all. do not brother no yeah I, there's a whole uh what do you call that the whole um Genre, whole, whole um, uh yeah whole um uh, uh, stats demographic but, you know, Demographic that yeah, I'm demographic, yeah. completely yeah. yeah. So I, I got a good out spectrum. Of this. I did a good spectrum on my end of what people are picking yeah. for me, and well, yeah, yours are very much. Uh, you got the you got the, the elite gamer, hardcore gamer station. Yeah, to, let's to let's be on. real though. There's a lot of kids that play Grand Theft Auto. Oh, yeah. So you not listening yeah. to the chats on there? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I fucked him up. Fuck him up. And words out every hard. four seconds. Oh yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. How are you guys uh, feeling on uh, on all your picks? I, I feel like money. mine's a mine's a absolute win, an absolute mm -hmm. win. Wow. There's a console you'd buy for sure, right? Oh, oh yeah. guarantee. Oh, oh yeah, all these, like, all of these actually are pretty. You good. could you could survive alone on um, Grand Theft Auto. Like you you are, yeah. you can float whatever and put whatever the fuck you want. You're not losing money no matter that, what. Right? That's so, my trump card, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, man. Yeah. Like now they have Dr. Dre in there now. Like my God, they've been putting yeah. so many things out right now. Jesus, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot they put oh, I guess Mega Man appeals to kids. It does, yes. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that would be a good one. one. But I'd put yeah. a mature twist on it, though. Oh, fuck no, it. I'm <laughs> Make it 18 <laughs> yeah. Just blowing yeah. up robots. You see the scattered people, people getting, like, dismembered. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. You see Mega Man's dick. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. Mega dick. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hip thrust. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, yeah. uh, let us know in the comments on YouTube or Facebook on uh, who you think won, one? who has yeah. the, the best who console. Who has the best console? Yeah. I think it's an, even, it's, a, it's an even pick, I think. Like, it's a good, people. like... It yeah. is. It is. I'd have to buy all like, three consoles. Yeah, there's no... There's, I wouldn't say there's no... It's like they say, there's no, like, guaranteed one you pick. You have to get all three. Because mm -hmm. if, you, if you want all of them, you have to get all of them, yeah. You can't just get one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just in case you forget, forgot the picks... Um, I'm gonna be putting a graphic at the end of the video, so you know uh, you can you can review them. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, that's gonna do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching and listening on YouTube. Like and subscribe if you're on a podcast service. Give us a rating. Uh, subscribe to the feed, um, and then head over to our Facebook page, like the page, ask us a question for uh, next month, and uh, like I said, just let us know who you think won. Our draft, and uh, if you like this video, let us know because we might maybe do something similar uh, in the future. Yeah, yeah, this was fun. Yeah, all this right, a good one. Yeah. We'll talk to you on Wednesday. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you guys.